Yo guys, what's up and welcome back to r slash entitled people and r slash entitled parents. Where a convicted felon complains about a job that he got as an act of kindness. If you enjoy my content, please don't forget to leave a like at the end of the video. And now just sit back, relax and enjoy some entitled people. Entitled father and stepmom shave my head, mother is still mad. Context: My parents have been divorced for a long time. I have long thick hair that the family is creepily proud of. This happened back when I was about 12 years old. My parents live a bit away from each other. My father had taken us suddenly so we were all at his place when I started to feel itchy. I told him about it and we went to the doctor. I had lice. Not sure how, the only time I share anything for the head is at home. The doctor checked my brother and sister's heads as well. My sister only had a few, but my brother, well he had a lot. The doctor gave us the script for the shampoo and comb and said to my father, you need to take special care of her hair as it's longer and thicker than your other two children's hair. My father nodded and off we went. I was hopeful to have this resolved quickly. As I had lies before, each time was with my mom whom would toss use the comb but afterwards would use some time nitpicking my hair so she could get all the little buggers off me. And I would be lice free in 3 days or less with her method. My father got on his cell phone as he was driving, dangerous I know, and called my mom. He had her on speakerphone so we all could hear. She picked up and as she was starting to say hello, my father snapped. The kids have lies, why did you give the kids lies? I heard my mother sigh. I told you to check their heads. That, my brother's name, has a strange habit of getting them. And he likes to shove his heads on his sister's heads. More so, my name, since she hates people messing with her head or hair. However, she does quite well with nitpicking, said my mom in a calm voice. Nitpicking? asked my father. My mother told him about the methods that worked best with each of us and how to do it. Even saying she could send video demos if he was too confused. My father dismissed this. I got this. He said before he hung up not even saying goodbye. He drove us home after we picked up the shampoo. For some odd reason he did not give it to me and my siblings. The next day our stepmother took us out. I had said. Um, I'm not comfortable going out with lies, I don't want to infect others, to my stepmother. She smiled. Your father told me all about that, we got it covered, we are going swimming today. Chlorine will kill the lies, it kills everything, just stay underwater for a long time. Oh, and we got a nice surprise for you. She said with a smile, so we got lunch at a restaurant in town. Stepmom was trying to make me feel better, but kinda hard to do, when she ordered me her favorite food which I refused to eat. She takes us to the pool, I was ready to go in, but she grabbed me. Not you, not yet, you get a spa day first. She said and pulled me along, leaving my brother and sister at the pool. I looked back worried, but they... I said. Don't worry about them, others will watch them, said my stepmother. As she took me to a nearby hair saloon. We entered and I was feeling super anxious. I am really picky about my hair, and only like it when I go to the places my mother takes me to. As the last place my father got my hair cut at came made me look like someone cut my hair in the dark. We are your one o'clock appointment, said my stepmom. The woman looked at me and said, her? But her hair, said the woman at the desk. My stepmom was quick. We have the money, my husband called and already ordered the haircut. Our little girl is looking forward to it, said my stepmom. I looked at her confused. What? I asked surprised. The woman behind the desk sighed and took me to the back. She washed my hair and kept apologizing to me. I had no idea why. That was until we got to the chair and she started to lop off my hair. I was staring surprised. Remember to shave it as close as you can to the skin. It has to be really short. Her hair is so thick no one will notice. My stepmother called from the waiting area. I am ready to cry at this moment as my hair is disappearing right before my eyes. People are muttering. I had no idea what they were saying, but in my mind at that time 
I thought they were talking about how horrible I looked with short hair. After a while, since they had to cut my hair first, then buzz, since my hair was so long and wavy, I now had a haircut shorter than my brother's. I go back to my stepmom, who was paying the woman, whom asked, what did she do wrong for her to get this? She asked before giving me a lollipop. Nothing. I thought she would feel cooler this way, as summer is coming, said my stepmother. She then took me back to the pool and told me to soak my head to kill any leftover lies. We swam for a bit more before heading home. We all showered, each of us now allowed to use the lice killing shampoo and then had our hair combed. However, my father looked at my hair. There is still some hair left. Her hair is too thick. I'm not able to deal with this. He said before he got a razor and shaved off the stubble on my head. Well, I had no more lice, but I had no more hair either. I was upset by this and hid in my room for the rest of the visit, refusing to come out except to eat or go to the bathroom. Our dad dropped us off at my mom's a week later when she was not home. He wasn't stupid. He knew what she would do if she saw my head. Well, my mom got home and noticed we were already there, a few hours early. She was happy to see us until she saw my head. I can still hear her screams. She called my father over, he arrived about 20 minutes later. What did you do to our daughter's hair? She snapped, pointing to me as I was hiding my head under a blanket so not to show my hairless head. She had lies, I fixed it, she shouldn't have thick hair to begin with. He snapped. You have thick hair, I have thick hair, so our kid is gonna have thick hair. You shaved her bald, yet did nitpicking with the other two? She hissed. No, just a comb, we still got lies, chimed my sister. No you don't, and why should I? Kids shouldn't even have lies, snapped my father. My mother rolled her eyes. You shaved your daughter's head because you were too lazy to do your job as a father? Do you know why your daughter's hair was so long? Snapped my mother. Cause you think she looks cute that way, snapped my father at my mother. My mother turned to me. Tell your father why you were growing your hair, she said, more trying not to sound harsh with me. I peeked my head out. I wanted to look like my favorite princess, Rapunzel, I said softly. My father gaped at me. You told her to say that, she likes her hair like this, he cried. Then why is she hiding, snapped my mother. This went on and on for about an hour, until my father left in a huff telling everyone that I wanted to be bald. I was crying at this point as I felt so misunderstood. My mother gave me a stuffed animal and told me to relax in my room. After an hour or so, my mom showed up with a poorly made yarn wig. Honey, I called up some friends who are currently making you hair hats, so you can at least pretend you have hair. I know how much you like your hair. Now listen, I might be still mad at him, but don't you worry. Hair grows, you will have your hair back again in no time. I spent that summer wearing lots of funny hats. He tried to shave me bald a few more times after that, but my mom had told my siblings to not let him or my stepmother get near me with any hair cutting places or devices. And whenever my father tries something we won't like, my mother reminds him his mistakes will take months to correct. And if you ask about the time with my mom, she will growl about how she's still mad at him. You know that story actually reminds me of Snow White, but taking that aside, that almost sounds like child abuse. Also I did not know that hair saloons allow people with lice to get their hair cut in there. But either way, let's continue. Convicted felon complains about job that he got as an act of kindness that pays $5 more than minimum wage. Going to try to keep this as anonymous as possible. I met this person at a previous job I held, and even knowing they had a shaky history. I thought they were a good and hardworking person that deserves better than working in a minimum wage job. It was my first job in high school and he's almost in his 30s but we are making the same. I live on the west coast where price of living is high so minimum wage is hard to live off of. Through some connections I had I was able to get him a job at a place working 9 to 5 and making 5 dollars more than minimum wage. 
This was extremely good considering as a felon how hard it is to get a good job with normal hours. We worked sunrise shift at previous job. It really took a lot of vouching on my end for him to land this job. First few months everything seemed to be fine until he started calling out of work two to three times per week. His boss, my friend, was extremely understanding at first and had no issues with him missing that much time because life happens. After months and months of this, his boss slash my friend starts to get extremely annoyed at this not only because of the time missed but because he would complain he was not getting paid enough and that his paychecks were not big enough. He would work 20 hours a week. He comes to me complaining about how he hates his job and wants to quit. It is a basic office job and considering his past he absolutely has no chance of getting a better job as he spent many years in prison. He gets to sit in AC and work on a computer with a good paying wage yet complains about how crappy his boss is and he seems to forget how nice his boss was to even give him a chance and hire him and constantly bashes him for everything which puts me in an extremely awkward position. He also refuses to do anything extra to help out his boss such as drop something off or come in on a weekend when things are running behind. All paid of course. His boss slash my friend is getting extremely aggravated and is about ready to fire him for his attitude and ungratefulness. He could be working at any minimum wage job, working horrible hours, but due to my friend's kindness he has an office job, working 9 to 5, making a good wage and yet acts like he's too good for the job and deserves better. Getting really fed up because it makes me look like an idiot for vouching so hardly about him to my friend who hired him. I would call that both entitled as well as being a choosing beggar. I will only recommend you to watch a series called The Toughest Prisons on Netflix. That series is absolutely amazing and if you've watched until here don't forget to post some stars in the comments to make your boy Ripe happy. Entitled parent gets angry because I won't carry her child on my shoulders. Cast as me, EP, Entitled Parent, NK, Nice Kid, MM, My Mother, and D for Nice Dad. So today in Atlanta we had a 4th of July festival. Now I hate these things, but when I can I try to make money. I was selling 5 minute shoulder rides for 4 to 5 dollars. I have a smaller sister and I understand how frustrating it was not being able to see the wow pretty colors in the sky. I was making a lot of money off of it and I was actually excited. By the end of the night I had 40 dollars. During the middle of the night when the fireworks show is about to go full blast I feel a tap on my shoulder and I turn around. I have a taser on me since I'm not with my family and I'm pretty sure I can beat the crap out of someone with my metallic arm if I hit them hard enough. It's a small child and two people. NK Can I please ride on your shoulder? I cannot see. Me Well yeah sure, how old are you? NK 7 This kid looked young but I shrugged it off. Me Alright I need 5 dollars. EP Excuse me what? I was already picking the kid up as ND had taken out his wallet and was pulling out the cash. Me Yeah, I don't do this for free. Five dollars for five minutes, but since your kid will be one of the last kids, I will give him a little more time. EP Listen here man, can't you just pick my kid up? It's the 4th of July, when our nation gained freedom. Me Chuckles Your nation. As far as I know, I'm not a communist and I was not born in the USA. Anyway, am I picking up your child or not? EP You cannot put my child down before I beat your butt for picking him up, you illegal immigrant. By now we had caught the gaze and ear of several onlookers and I was getting increasingly embarrassed. My mom, thank god her, comes out of nowhere. Mom, I heard someone calling my daughter an illegal immigrant? EP So she's yours? She says yours like poison. So you both are illegal immigrants, trying to celebrate our freedom day. MM sighs, turns to ND, get your effing wife, talks back to EP. First, my daughter was born in Canada and I'm from America. Making her a legal citizen 
due to the dual citizenship program. Two, she's literally making you pay money for something you could do for free. EP, well, ND has a bad back, so... ND, who's finally had enough, hands me the five and the child who I put on my shoulders as the fireworks start. ND, don't you dare lie about me having a bad back, you piece of crap. We are not even married, and yet I wanted you to have a nice time with my son, one last time on the 4th of July. The accident was three years ago, the divorce was two. I'm filing a restraining order, and this time, I'm not letting you see NK ever again if you're just going to try and lie about everything. The rest of the fireworks show. EP begged and pleaded with ND, but his price was firm. He thanked me after the show, without looking at EP, gave me an extra $10 tip and left without EP, who drifted off somewhere to get drunk. I would have felt bad if she did not accuse me of being an illegal immigrant. Okay guys, not gonna lie, that story was kind of weird, but I just had to read it because I forgot to read a 4th of July story yesterday. So excuse me for that. Last story is gonna be from our own subreddit as well, posted by Stacy Rose two days ago. Found out how to deal with entitled people. Ignore them. I think I figured out a way of getting entitled people to leave you alone. This story I'm about to share with you happened to me today and I'm still laughing about it. As usual, I went shopping at Walmart and they have those smaller cards I love when you're not buying a lot. I grabbed a good card that was not squeaky or making rickety noises while pushing it and was getting ready to go in the store. A lady came behind me and tried to grab my card from me, saying Thanks, I would take that one. And I ignored her and pushed my card out of her reach while continuing into the store. This lady had the nerve to follow me, yelling at me instead of grabbing her own card. I go through produce, grabbing strawberries, putting them in my cart and this lady is following me, yelling at me, demanding that I stop using my card. I just roll my eyes and continue my shopping, heading the next aisle while this lady was right on my heels. I grab bread and put a couple of loaves in my cart and this lady is literally stomping her feet, yelling at me while I ignore her. She was calling me names and saying things like, Are you stupid? I said it's my card. But I just ignored her and continued my shopping. Now, as this was going on through the different aisles, she started to get the attention of employees and customers alike. They see this crazy woman following me while I'm shopping, screaming at me to Give me my card! while well, I'm just happily ignoring her and doing my shopping. At one point, another customer says, Could you please leave that girl alone? She has the card and she's shopping, but you have no groceries and you're doing nothing but causing a scene. I nodded my head to the customer and mouthed, Thank you, without saying it. He winked at me and the woman lost her crap. She's now screaming for a manager and the other customer is just standing there laughing then he says to her, Lady, are you stupid? Just go get another card and leave this poor girl alone. She's not bothering you, why do you have to bother her? The woman looks at him and tells him to mind his own business and he said, Well, it is my business since you're harassing this girl for no reason in a public place. The woman screams, But she took the card I wanted. And the man literally started laughing so hard, I thought he was gonna fall over and says, is this what this is all about? You harassing this girl over a shopping cart? Go get another, you lunatic! Still laughing at her. The woman was making more of a scene, screaming for a manager, but the man and I continued on our way, doing our own shopping. She was still following me in the store, and the man chose to stay near because this woman was crazy. I am ignoring her and singing the songs that are on the Walmart radio, Determined to not let this lady get to me. When I arrived at the juice aisle, there was a worker there and she saw this woman following me, screaming at me and sees that I'm just shopping, so she stood up from stocking and says, Ma'am, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop harassing our customers. The woman goes off on her, telling her, She stole that card, I wanted to use it. To which the employee says, There are other shopping carts, you're not entitled to the one she's using. Please leave her alone or I will have to call my manager and see what he has to say about all of this. I move further down the aisle, 
grab the juice I wanted and move to the next aisle. This time the lady did not follow me so I stopped and listened. She was arguing with the employee and tells her to hurry and call the manager. The man who was shopping near me says, she's a nutcase isn't she? I smile and say, yes she tried to grab the card out of my hands when I had it first and normally I would simply give it to someone if they are not rude, but she was rude right off the bat, so I decided to ignore her. He then says, smart move, she's still arguing with the employee, now might be a good time to escape while you can. I agreed and made it to the other aisles I wanted to get to before checking out with her even seeing me. When I get to the front, I started loading my stuff on the belt so I could pay when I saw her again. She was still with the employee I left her with and this time she was with a man who I think was the manager. She's yelling at him and I tried not to make eye contact but she saw me and screamed That's her! That's the girl that stole my card! The manager looked at me then back at the lady and said Ma'am, it's clear she was using that card. Why couldn't you just grab another card? According to my employee you were harassing that young woman. Are you really gonna make me get the security to go through the security feed to see if what you're claiming is true? She then stomped her foot like a child saying But I wanted that card! The manager said So I cannot just force another customer to give you the card you wanted when they were using it first. If you don't calm down I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the store. I got to the cashier, a nice old woman that I always liked and she was looking at the scene in front of us. She asked me about it and I told her. She said, what did you say to her? I said, nothing, I just ignored her while I was shopping, hoping she would get the message. She smiled and said, that's the way to do it honey, I'm so proud of you. And she continued to ring me out while we made small talk. After my groceries were bagged and I had paid, I started to leave, but the manager stopped me and said, Miss, I'm really sorry about what happened to you. Is there anything we can do to make it up to you? I smiled and said, just make sure she isn't out there when I go to my car, please. He said sure and called over a card pusher to walk me out to my car. I thanked the manager and left the store. I did not see that lady when I left and I was glad. I have now figured out how to deal with entitled people, just ignore them. Well, you know, ignoring certainly works in that situation, but that lady certainly gave me some crazy vibes. So quite frankly, I would have called the police instead if I could. So guys, that was all the content for today. Please tell me in the comments if you like stories like the ones today that are a little bit less crazy, a little bit less over the top, because I have to know this when I select my stories. Also, please once again, turn on the notifications, AKA click the bell on my account, which is next to the subscribe button, to not miss any of my uploads. So I hope you have a fantastic Friday and I see you tomorrow.